Okay, we have three minutes, so let's go. So to start off with, I'm grabbing my pattern stamp tool and with that selected and impressionist checked, I'm grabbing my modern impressionist to brush number 27 and I'm using a color palette inspired by Opal and I'll have the link down below for that. And so now I'm just gonna go and do like I did over here and create some circles and have them kind of connecting in spots. So I want it to be a little bit of an organic, cool pattern. And so I like to have them touching a little bit and I think that looks really cool. So I won't worry about it being perfect, but we're gonna do over on the right, like you see on the left and kind of have this little organic pattern going. So we have got that. Okay, good enough. Let's make a new layer, create a clipping mask. Now I'm gonna, with my pattern stamp tool still selected, nothing's changing. I'm simply going to grab one of my tie dye brushes. And this is brush number 38. And so now I'm going with the same color palette, I'm going to go over here and just draw like this and it's connecting all that. And I like how it flows from one um, area to the next. So that kind of connects those uh, circles. And we've got a real like surface pattern kind of vibe here with this design. So you could use this for a backdrop, surface pattern, repeating pattern thing, technique, whatever. And then the last brush we're gonna use is the one of the confetti brushes, number 12, from my iridescent collection. And I am just going to go like this all over there and just put some of those on there. So that looks pretty good. I have a blue background, but I'm gonna put a pink background over it. And now I'm going to option click and create a layer mask. I'm going to grab my gradient tool and just show some pink, um, uh, let's see here, oops make sure that white's here. I've got a radial gradient just to bring some pink into this design because I think that will look really cool. So we'll put some pink spots here. Why not? So let me know which one you, which one you prefer, but I kind of like having some pink in here. I don't know. So we're just going to put some pink, some little colors of pink, whatever. Which one do you like? Do you like the plain blue on the left or with hints of pink on the right? And I finished that well within my three minutes. So I think we're good. We're gonna leave it. And uh, let me know which one you prefer or if you have any questions.